Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the currently unreleased Ubermatch Zion Classic. This is going to be in the Sports Classics category and it's going to cost you $812,000. So it's a tiny bit on the expensive side um, but at least it's not breaking the $1 million barrier. And it looks awesome. Old school BMW. <laughs> what can go wrong? Really, what can go wrong? And it does look pretty fucking sweet. So, without any further ado, let's crack on with 100% body armor to start this build. Then, race brakes. Then we've got a bumper. Front bumper. So, we've got some nice additional options. We've got the primary painted. And then we've got the street. The street painted. The tuner. Then the painted tuner. Tuner? Tuner. Then we've got the drift. And we've got the painted drift. So, not much in the way of um, obviously different options because these two are, pre are the same. They're just you know a primary version and a secondary version of it. So um, I actually like the drift bumper. I think that looks awesome. So I'm going to go with the primary drift bumper. Then we've got the rear. So we've got the primary stock, the tuner, and we've got the painted one. And it's got to be that. It's got to be the one. The tuner painted. So we're going to grab that bad boy. Then we've got the chassis. We've got the street cage. We've got the sports cage. And we've got the racing cage. So um, the street cage, obviously, is just a half cage. Then we've got a sports cage, which is a full cage. And the racing cage is also a full cage, but we get um, pads on the cage. Um, not a massive fan of the pads. I think it's a bit overkill, so I don't know. I might actually have the street cage, man. I think that looks cool. Um, you know, I think when we go to the extent of having a full cage in a car like this, it's a little bit overkill, and I think a half cage actually looks a little bit nicer. So next we've got the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhausts. Some nice additions for the exhausts. So we can dual it up, and we can chrome tip it. We can titanium tip it. We can carbon tip it, or we can get the aluminium tips. It's got to be titanium all the way. Fenders, secondary fenders, carbon fenders. Yeah, um, not really sure about that. I think I'm just going to stay stock for the fenders. Headlights, we are going to... Oh, sorry, I thought I was going to change that to Xeon then, but no, it's taken me completely by surprise. So we can get headlight wipers, or we can tape the headlights. Oh man, I ain't going to do neither of that, because <laughs> they're both a little bit weird. Then we've got the hood, uh, so we get the stock carbon, the shark nose. Mm, okay, not not sure what I feel about that one. Got the intake scoop. Uh, oh my fucking life. The, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Beamer with <laughs> a big triple intake um, big block. I th <laughs> wow, that took me by surprise completely. Didn't think that was going to be there. It looks weird, man. Yeah. Uh, nah. No. Is that it? So the hood options are a little bit strange. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Not on, not on a BMW. It was weird. Um, I'm not really a fan of any of them. The shark nose is shit. Uh, the stock hood looks okay. So to maybe mix it up a little bit, the intake scoop is probably the best option. Um, or to stay stock. But I'm going to mix it up a little bit and get the intake scoop. But all the others, man, they're weird. That looks fucking alien on this car. It just don't look right. Looks weird as fuck. Anyway, we're going to carry on. Uh, we've got the headlights and we are going to purchase the Xeon headlights. The livery. Loads of options for liveries as usual. Um, especially with these new DLC vehicles. We're getting a lot of options for liveries. So we've got um, the Premier Electronics. Race liveries as they are. That's quite a nice one. I like the look of that. It looks pretty cool. Um, some more race liveries. You know, nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about. 
or you can rat, rat it out you know if you but if you're going to have this one you've got to have a matte color underneath so you take away that gloss but um yeah i'm not a massive fan of any of these that's probably my favorite that's just plainly called uber match so that's that's my favorite one but you know I, I don't think it needs a livery so i'm gonna stay clear of the liveries then we've got the mirrors we've got the primary mirrors secondary mirrors and the carbon mirrors i'm just gonna go primary because um i'm not a massive fan of the chrome but then again the chrome actually has that old school feel to it um but then there's not much else chrome on this car is there so i'm gonna just go primary for the mirrors go skip the play we've got a respray primary and i'm gonna go metallic white actually looks really cool on this black looks awesome as well um, red is also a good color for a beamer silver is a good color for a beamer actually i think bmw's suit most colors i don't think i've ever seen a a car a bmw that doesn't look good in any color i actually like really like that cabinet red that looks awesome on this car it's got a it's got a real old school feel to it that cabinet red as well so metallic cabinet red it is for the primary color then we've got the secondary color we're gonna go metallic also frost white and it is just this trim around the bottom by the looks of it i can't see it and the roll cage i can't really see it changing anything else other than the trim around the bottom and the roll cage so in that case i am going to go metallic black and i think that looks fucking sweet definitely really look really liking the look of it uh roof so we've got an antenna we can get roof luggage not sure why and then we've got um the roof spoiler versus a spoiler that doesn't add traction then we've got a secondary and then we've got louvers um i actually really like the louvers on this man to be honest out of all of them i really like the louvers so i'm gonna go window louvers for the roof strangely enough uh next we've got the side skirts so quite a few options for skirts we've got a painted trim the extended oh i like the extended that looks cool and then a performance skirt the drift skirt see that looks cool i like the drift skirt that's nice it goes with the front bumper so that's the one i'm going to go with is the drift skirt and it's the primary color so it's all gravy baby next we've got the spoiler so we can get a ducktail and the carbon ducktail we can get some trunk luggage what the fuck <laughs> oh man uh the before the sorry the primary street spoiler actually looks really good i like the look of that really digging the look of that even the pro uh, the primary performance spoiler looks good really like the look of that too um i'm not sure what one i like better i think maybe the primary street spoiler looks a little bit nicer because only just because it's a little bit lower and i think with them window louvers i don't know i don't know um so yeah i actually like the performance spoiler and also the street spoiler they're both really good they're actually all really good with the exception of the trunk luggage that's a bit weird but um, the duck tower looks good. Oh man. Um, I think I'm going to go with the street spoiler. Keep it a little bit more subtle. I mean that's kind of like fuck. And that's like you know a little bit nicer. <laughs> a little bit more subtle. And um, especially with them window louvers as well. I don't want to be going too mad on the back. So yeah the street spoiler it is. Suspension we are going to slam it to the competition suspension. Transmission we're going to get a super transmission and turbo tuner and then the wheels i don't think i want to change these wheels to be honest they look awesome the stock wheels look really good they suit the car really nicely and i don't think there's any aftermarket wheels in this category or any of the categories which are going to look nicer so i'm going to stay stock for the wheels but to finish off the build we are going to go to light smoke as always for the window tint then we're going to go out onto the streets and see what this bad boy looks like in the sunlight of los santos the ubermatch zion classic and i'm loving the look of this this is one of my favorites so far that i've customized and done a review on definitely man between this and i think maybe the hellfire they're my two top favorites so far this looks awesome though the zion classic i actually really really like the look of this customizations on it is pretty sweet too 
you can actually um, customize it enough for it to be unique and it's in the sports classic category like I've already said it actually feels pretty quick you can see uh, you can see how much speed is picking up there so this is definitely going to be a fast sports classic car which is awesome I'm um, not sure if it will be you know top dog but it's definitely going to be competitive it feels real quick in a straight line it actually feels really light on the steering as well which is nice it feels really tight so it actually feels like a sports car uh, like it should do because it is a beamer it should feel good in the corners at least it's very easy to drive handling is very light um, like yeah I mean you can just see I'm full throttle around them corners and it's just holding in there and the just the little taps of the analog stick the steering just feels really tight and it's definitely going to be very fast in a straight line so I'm well happy with the way this car is man it looks awesome it customizations are really good it actually drives really nicely which is obviously a massive plus and um for for the price of eight hundred and twelve thousand dollars, I'm definitely going to be buying this man in online, hundred percent. When this is released, I'm going to get onto my online account and I'm actually going to purchase this because I actually really really like this. I like the Sentinel Classic, but I think I like the Zion Classic a little bit better. It just looks a little bit more sporty, a little bit more classy. I don't know, just a little bit more old school. I just really really like the look of it. Um, so. This this is obviously just my opinion. I just I just really like the look of this car. Some people might fucking hate it, but I really really like it. And um, I, this is definitely going to be a, a win and a purchase from me. Um, so on that note, I found I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.